All right, welcome. So today we are gonna take a look at this Mastercraft. This is a 2023 Mastercraft NXT24. So uh, just to kind of go over the quick specs with you, this boat is 24 feet right on the nose. It does have the full beam of 102 inches. Uh, comes in at just at 5,000 pound dry weight, 16 person capacity, 3,300 pounds of ballast, and a 65 gallon fuel tank. Uh, this boat itself, we have colored in jet stream blue on the hull side with the black accent down on the bottom there as well too. So uh, with the boat, we do have the color match tandem axle trailer, disc brakes. We equipped it with the spare tire option. And on all the Mastercraft trailers, the swing tongue is standard as well as the wired in seven way plug. So you have that nice non-skid grip, got a step to get up into the boat as well. Um, here, step pads, pull-up cleat as well, too, so you do have that. So very nice non-marking bow roller. LED navigation lights. Those are all for your ballast and bilge. Mastercraft Z6 Tower, standard with the clamping board racks on there. We did option this boat with the convenience package, which is going to give it the Benemy top there, which we'll talk about when we go on the inside of the boat. There's your standard wheels, alloy wheels, four-wheel disc brakes, LED trailer lights as well, too. As we walk around the back, we did option this boat with the fiberglass swim platform. Within that now is the fold-down swim step, which if you're not familiar with this option, is absolutely great. Makes it much, much easier to get back up into the boat. And when you're done, it simply just folds up, locks into place. Also new for this model year, molded in cup holders. I know none of you usually bring drinks out in the lake with you, but if you do, now you got a place to put them. Um, one of the great features of the NXT boats I've always, always loved is they do a full width swim deck step right here. So you got a place to sit, to put on your boards, your skis. You're not squished in one little footwell. Uh, very, very comfortable. They do give you cup holders there as well too. So very, very nice. Kind of give you a walk around on this side as well. <clears throat> really rich looking color scheme. This boat looks really good in person. So, very good. Okay, so, so that's that. Again, jet stream blue with the black. And then let's go take a look at the inside. Okay, welcome aboard. We're in the bow of the NXT24. And let me tell you, if you're looking for a boat that's got a spacious bow, this is it. Um, I'm six foot one, almost six foot two. I can lay down in these seats and my feet are still not close to touching the end of that. So just a great, great area up here. Lots of cup holders, tons of storage. Um, all of these seats will lift open. You got dedicated anchor storage there with the tie downs. It's got the spaghetti mat in there. So if you put the anchor away a little wet, a little dirty, you can just pull out that mat and clean it. Um, Great looking grab handles. This particular compartment here all opens up, but it all runs all the way through, and I'll show you in a second, underneath that observer seat all the way to the very back of the boat. So just a ton of deep usable storage in this boat. Um, if you've been looking at some other brands, they're not giving you the true walkthrough with the storage. They're using it for batteries and so forth. This boat's gonna give you the room. It's gonna give you the storage. You can get the optional fill cushion for right there so if you want to make this a playpen area and put lots of people up here you're able to do that as well too so neat neat feature walking back to the back of the boat as you come through on this boat we opted to have the windscreen door the acrylic windscreen door close the windshield close the door those chilly mornings or nights going to keep all that air from coming into the back of the boat keep everybody warm so really a neat feature there as well too um, as you can see as we're walking through Standard on this boat would be carpeting, but we did upgrade to the sea deck material in the cockpit and bow. Um, so nice, clean look, easy to clean, easy to maintain, really been a, a hot trend lately. So uh, really good stuff there. So uh, passenger side dash, nice deep glove box, again, seals for to keep the water out, standard power outlet, LED light. Uh, just lots of nice storage in that as well too. So cup holder for the passenger there as well. And again, the observer seat on Mastercrafts, all of them are gall wing. So just simply pull up, it's on gas assist shocks. 
You can look under, there's that storage again, plenty of room for skis, boards, anything long, fire extinguisher in there, boat cover in there. And again, it connects all the way through and you got more storage there as well too. So you're gonna see how all that connects. So really good stuff there. Dash of the boat, you have the gauges, RPM, fuel, battery, all redundant because you'll get that same information down on the screen which is standard four inch screen with all your cruise controls your ballast uh, on there as well too with presets you also have ballast override switches same thing with the trim tabs on the back for the wake system surf surf star you can override that um, upgraded wireless cell phone holder charger for the driver which works out really really good angled footrest super comfortable clip stereo the driver's seat has the flip up bolster, which I love, but also the cutout. So as you're sitting here, you can swivel, your leg can hang out the side while you're talking to whoever on the back of the boat, or if you're just quickly turning around to look at somebody in the water, able to do that too. The NXT has no windshield wings, which I absolutely love. It's all open. So as I pull up to the dock, I can grab it. As I pull up next to my skier, I can talk to them. So absolutely love that. Um, Mastercraft Z6 tower, easiest towers on the market to fold. Unclamp, unclamp, it's on gas shocks, just pull it straight down. Super, super simple, takes 10, 15 seconds if that. Standard on the Z6 tower is the clamping board racks as well too. So you never have bungees whipping back around, hitting you in the face, uh, they all swivel. We did option the boat with the convenience package. Convenience package is going to give you the Benemy top that comes on the tower. The nice, th nice thing about this Benemy top is it gives you four places to put surfboards. You can put two on the top. There's also spots for two on the bottom as well. So in reality, <clears throat> you can hold eight boards. You got your board racks that can hold two each, plus the four spots on the, on the Benemy top. Clips tower speakers, so you can hear your music out the back of the boat. As we're going through, again, more cup holders, cell phone holders as well too, power outlets, just all sorts of fun stuff. Underneath this cushion here, igloo cooler. So not having to put the cooler in the middle of the boat, not everybody's having to walk around it. One of the options we did do as well, this has got the convertible rear seat. I'm gonna grab this handle. The seat's just gonna simply pull and recline. So now people can sit here face backwards watch the action behind the boat. And when you're done, you just simply push down and it just pushes right back into place. Very, very nice, very simple to use. Pop-up ski pylon. Oops, just twist it. It's gonna come up, which is awesome. Let's push it back down, twist it back into place. I'll open this up. This is your deep storage down in there. You do have the surf bags for the extra ballast. So if you're gonna do some surfing, you can fill that up as well. Ilmore six liter engine, beautiful engine, runs great. 3,300 pounds of ballast in this boat. This boat's gonna make some waves. So if you're thinking about surfing, this is a great boat. It can bring, you can bring 16 people on this boat. So you and all your friends can fit on here. If you got any questions, give us a call. We'd love to help you out. Thanks for watching.